Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa, and this is... Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Um, I picked her up from school, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to the eye doctor, because... Gabrielle, you want to tell me what happened at school? Well, I can't see far away. She said that all of a sudden, she's having trouble I mean, seeing... it's been going on for a while now since they scheduled the appointment, but... Yeah, we scheduled, it was like a couple weeks out, but she's having trouble reading the board at school. And so we made her an appointment to get that checked out because she's always passed her eye tests like every year. And then this year, just all of a sudden you're having this, you're on the struggle bus, right? I mean, my left eye is worse than my right eye. But so you can tell? Yeah, because I did like a test myself and my left eye is worse. But so I'm also could getting, be you could I, be wrong. Well, I we're going to get it tested. I'm not an eye doctor, so. Um, we're going to the eye doctor. We're going to get tested. I'm also getting my eyes checked because if you guys didn't know, a couple years ago I had laser eye surgery. Um, I was really, really blind, like negative five or 25. You could not see whatsoever. Yeah, had like. had contacts and like glasses. And all the time. So. Um, but basically like my vision was like, you know, it's like 20, 20 is normal. Mine was like 2,500. Uh. Very, okay, very few people have like 20-20 vision. Like if you have like 20-20 vision, like your eyes are perfect. Like, yeah. Th you have no, no issue whatsoever. So after I had my surgery at my follow-up, they told me that my vision was, I think it was like 2030, between 2030 and 2040, which is amazing um, for considering like where I came from. Um, but I've been noticing the last six months that I can't, like I'm struggling to see like at night. And I don't know if that's just like astigmatism or if I'm getting... I'm not that old, but if I'm getting, you know, like when you get older, sometimes you, um, you need like reading glasses or something. Like I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I just want to get checked out. It's super old. It's not that old. I know. I know I'm I not being that old. Facetious. That's a good word. <laughs> good word. So we're going to the eye doctor. We're going to get it all checked out. Going to see where we stand. Gabrielle might be getting contacts or glasses. I'd rather have contacts, honestly, because I, I mean like glasses like fog up and in the rain, I mean like. That's true. I like work, I, I wore contacts from the time I was like 10 yeah. until I had this eye surgery. So like a lot, like almost 20 years. I'd rather like not have like glasses on my face. I mean, you're cute in glasses, but I will say having bad vision, um, actually my vision was so bad that wearing glasses actually wasn't, I didn't feel comfortable like driving because I could see if I just looked straight in front of me, but my vision was so terrible that I lost like all my peripheral vision because the glasses obviously weren't like wrap around my entire face. So I only felt comfortable driving if I wore contact lenses uh, because it, it may, I was able to see Has your contact totally lens normally. Like, oh, like uh, popped out of your eye on accident? Like, oh, hard ones will, but I only wore soft. And I mean, I wore hard for like a little bit. I didn't like them. Then I switched to soft and wore soft for like the whole time I wore contact lenses. Um, but I don't know what I do if I had to get them again. I don't know if since the laser surgery, if they'll let me wear, con I don't know. I have to ask the eye doctor. So right now we're actually in line at a Starbucks. I don't know if you can see there's like Starbucks sign. Starbucks sign-in. is great, you guys. Um, so Starbucks we're just getting water. some drinks and then we're gonna head to our appointment. And then I think tonight dad wanted to do something like for Valentine's Day. Like you guys have to make your ma mailboxes for oh, all your mailboxes. Valentine's. Yeah, so we might yeah. do that. Although that might be a separate video. So make sure you're subscribed in case it is so you don't miss that when it comes out. And yeah, we're gonna take you guys along with us. I'm not sure if they'll let me film inside the eye doctor. Maybe they will. Um, if they will, most of it. I'll try to get uh, Gabriel's eyes getting like, checked out. Went, yeah, and we'll find out right away. Cause when you do the eye tests, like they immediately tell you like, you can't how see. you did yeah they're like <laughs> you're blind um so we'll find out today where we stand with all that so are you a little nervous she's only I mean, been eye tested at the doctor she's actually never been to like um I mean, like an eye doctor like i've gotten like a screening before but I've, I've never been to like an actual like optometrist so so this is a new thing for you you know so a lot of people in middle school actually like have glasses or like contacts so yeah we'll be that's the only true. one well, also, it was so funny. I was talking to Jeff um, right before we uh, got in line here at Starbucks, and I was telling him, like, I got out of the car to pick Gabrielle up, which I never do, but I have never, okay, like, I have never smelt so much Axe body spray, but then, like, also BO in my entire life. Like, it was, like, at the same time. It's Mom, a very it's weird combination. School. It's middle school. I mean, I've gotten used to the smell. Yeah, so right. I, I feel bad for the teachers. Like sixth, seventh, eighth grade must be rough. In the beginning of eighth grade <laughs> and seventh grade, like after lunch recess, oh my gosh, everybody like who likes play like played sports and like ran around, they Ugh. smelled 
terrible. Uh, I can't even tell you guys. Yeah, I don't even know. No. I, yeah, I, if I were the no. teachers, I'd be like handing out like goodie bags with like I probably have like air freshers all over my room. I'd be like, <laughs> Merry so Christmas for, for like deodorant for and like them when they come in the door. <laughs> like, wait, wait. <laughs> Spray them. Spray them down. Hit them with some Febreze. Here's your Christmas presents deodorant for the guys and per perfume for the girls. Seriously. All right, so we weren't able to film that much while we were inside, um, but I did get a couple clips of Gabrielle as you guys saw. Um, kind of some unexpected news. Um, okay, so Gabrielle apparently is very, I don't know, like in touch with her body and eyes changing because she has, uh, I guess her prescription, well, okay, so her eyesight is technically fine. However, she, they're recommending she get reading glasses because I guess all, all, you know, all the teenagers and everybody now is like on screens all the time and for homework and stuff, she does her homework on a laptop and that's straining her eyes. So she needs like reading glasses for up close uh, with the blue, there's like a blue glare blocker thing so that her eyes don't get stressed out while she's doing that. Because they said the reason why she couldn't read the board is because she was like looking, like focusing so close on her computer screen and then trying to look up and her eyes weren't like adjusting to be able to see like back and forth between the two. But her vision is actually pretty good. So we're gonna go shopping for some reading glasses, I guess another day, cause we actually have to get home. We got some dinner, we got some uh, Costco chicken, which is like, bagels. and we eating Costco bagels, we were hungry. Um, so we'll go shopping another day. If you guys want to see us vlog that, let us know down in the comments below. Maybe we'll do like a mother daughter trip because I also, need glasses. You're sniffling too. You were telling me not to sniff, but you're also sniffling. I finished antibiotics for my like bronchitis and I had like a double ear infection, sinus infection, all that, but I don't think it was a long enough round of antibiotics. So I have to actually call my doctor and see if I can get in or something because I still feel terrible and I'm very, very congested and I'm having sinus pressure still. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, oh, so back to the eyes. My eyes are actually the opposite of Gabrielle's. I had LASIK, like, which I told you guys, and I think I was like 20, 30, or 20, 40 vision after that. I'm still technically, well, I'm 20, so it got worse a little bit. I'm 20, 40 in both eyes now. Um, and one of my eyes has astigmatism pretty bad, which it's been that way forever, so that hasn't changed. Um, but I'm having a hard time seeing far away. So they're actually prescribing me glasses for like driving, um, or like any time where if I, if I'm somewhere where I need to see like distance, um, it helped a lot when they put like the lenses on to kind of like, to see what the difference would be. The eye doctor said, I don't technically like, it's kind of up to me. Like I wouldn't have to wear them all the time, but she said it would definitely help because I told her my biggest complaint was like when Jeff and I are out driving, um, he'll see a sign, like he'll be able to read it like a couple of seconds before me. So that's kind of what I noticed. I noticed like street signs and uh, like movie credits and stuff like that, where it would just be blurry, like out of focus. And she said that the glasses will help with that. So we both need glasses. It's great bagel. Yeah. Costco bagels are bomb. We actually did pick up a couple groceries and we would have vlogged in the store more, but it was very, very oh, busy. Chicken. We did get two chickens. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a video on my channel talking about like, like maybe like a shop with me, like a Costco shop with me, because I shop at Costco all the time and there's certain things that are like amazing buys. And I just, I find that type of content interesting. So if you guys want to see like a Costco haul or like, like a big family shopping trip, like what that looks like, let me know because I'm totally interested to see how other people budget for their family. I know we spend at least a thousand dollars a month on groceries, but it's interesting to see like where it goes because we typically do our shopping at Costco and like Safeway. Um, sometimes Target. Sometimes Target for a few things. Sometimes like Sprouts. Like we go to Sprouts quite a bit because we have one in Lincoln and they have really Sprouts good meat. Sprouts has great chicken deals. Like every other week you can get like a couple pounds of chicken for... For a good price. So I taught her that. I was like, you got to get chicken. It has to be like a certain price for it to be a good deal. And then you stock up. See, I'm, you're learning and things. freezer. Perfect. And then you marinate it and then you just freeze it and then it's ready for like... That's dinner. true. That's what I do. So if you guys want to see that, let us know. We're going to go home now and check on dad and the kids and we're going to let them know kind of like the verdict of what's going on. And I guess, yeah, next week we'll plan a day where we'll, we'll go out and pick out some cool frames. Next week I cool have frames. off from school, so... 
Yeah, it's like holiday week, so it's maybe we'll have week. some time to go do that President's Week. They get the whole week off school. Do you guys, if you're a kid and you're in school or you're in college, I think most schools. Let us know if you get the whole week off school because I don't remember that as a kid. I think that's new. No. You should, Gabrielle's like eight, one and a half bagels in 10 minutes. Okay, no. They're really good. I want some of that. <laughs> She's like, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't eat lunch today. Mm. Well, we're having chicken for dinner. I like cheesy. Bagels. Costco chickens are four dollars and ninety nine cents, and that's an amazing deal. You I can't even get an uncooked chicken for that price. So I got two. I'm gonna like freeze one, and we'll have the other one for dinner tonight. Let's go. In mom's home, and she did all the shopping at Costco, which is amazing. It's super helpful. Thank you, honey, for getting all the Costco stuff. And somebody is actually super overtired because she had maybe a half hour nap today. So hopefully, Mom, she is going to sleep through the night. That would be amazing. That would be <laughs> rare. Oh, yeah, they did a little artwork. Gwen, who would who'd you have over? A friend over today? Yeah. I gave her mine. I made one of those. What? I made one of those. It was purple and sparkly blue. Oh. And I gave her mine. You gave it to your friend? Yeah. What friend came over? Naomi came over for a bit. Oh, oh that's fun. I mean, yeah. I didn't Mine yet, oh, it's looking really good. Really cool. Oh, yeah, we can show you a picture from the father daughter dance. What? There we go. <laughs> that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Buttercup can smell a chicken from like a mile away. Look at her over here. Well, She's you... like, please, please, oh. please, please. She's please. going to the groomer tomorrow. I know she has long hair. She needs to go get it cut. She Not someone else. Too. She's like, oh, I just have to yeah, say please a couple times. Too. I saw your little video about how cute she was saying thank you. Yeah, it's a cute little video. That's on, I think we're going to put that on our Facebook for our uh, The Weiss Life. Oh, okay. I yeah, put it so. on my personal one, but we're starting to put some little video clips on the Facebook page. Um, so you can check in the description box below for where that is. All right, guys. So I forgot to mention in the car because, yeah, we had all the groceries and I was distracted. But there's something else that was really unexpected as well. Um, so they, we did the thing where they scanned like our whole eyes, right? Where it's like scans the back of your eye. It's like a cool, like, I don't know, almost like an x-ray machine, but it's for your eye. Hey, coming in to sit with me. Uh -huh. Um, so they did mine and they did Gabrielle's and Gabrielle had her eye test first. So the doctor pulls up Gabrielle and I wish I took a picture of it. I wonder if I could like get them to email it to me, but I, I totally spazzed and like forgot, but basically like they pulled it up on the computer and showed... Gabrielle's eye like the back of her eye and the doctor's like this is what a healthy eye looks like and it showed like the optical nerve or whatever and like all the <laughs> stuff and then I was like okay cool like she just said like oh this is perfect this is what your eyes supposed to look like then she pulled up my picture and it, all, it had like a tear in it yeah, yeah so my picture if I could compare it to something I was explaining it to Jeff it's kind of like if you like google search like smoker's lung versus non-smoker's lung my eye the back of my eye looked terrible like compared to Gabrielle's. And like and tw torn them and yeah. like, oh Gabby's eyes are Yeah, and this perfect. is like right after she told me that Gabrielle's were like amazing. So, um when she pulled mine up, she told me that my retinal retina tissue or whatever in the back of my eye was like super thin and she said that that's likely damage caused by going like my whole life with such terrible vision before I had the laser surgery, which I totally get. Um, cause I just had such terrible vision as a kid and just my, my whole life until I was like 28 or 29 and had the surgery. Um, so the other thing she noticed is that not only is the tissue really damaged and thin so that you risk like, um, should you call it retina detachment or something super scary, which she said the only way to fix you have to have like your eye cauterized, like they do is a laser and burn it, which is insane. But she said that I had a tear and it looked like my body had like tried to heal it. And that she couldn't tell how old it was. So, like, she didn't know if it was something that happened recently. I mean, it's or just something like that an happened. image, so you can't really, like, tell Yeah, about she said that. that there's no way to tell how old it was, but that basically, like, my eye tissue is, like, so thin that, like, if I get an injury or something, ha like, I don't even know. Like, I just have to really be careful. And it's just caused from damage that I had. I guess growing up with terrible eyesight. So make sure that you guys at home get your eyes checked every mm -hmm. couple years or so because if you have damaged, da you know, bad eyesight and you just go and go and go and don't get it corrected or don't wear glasses, it. I didn't know this, but it can cause damage. Like I was so worried when they showed my picture. I was like, is there like a brain tumor in my head? Or no, like no, no. It was just showing like the back of your eye and like your optic nerves and like everything. But <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, super scary. Also, Gabrielle's dying. 
and fine. <laughs> so definitely make an appointment and get checked out if it's been a couple years. Ooh. This is your reminder. Emoji. Um, oh, this These is going to be the end of the video. Emoji. If oh. you guys watch to the end of this video, make sure to leave the glasses emoji down yes. in the comments or, below. Or the like, like nerd emoji. I don't know. Or the nerd emoji with glasses. Anything with glasses, you know, or, glasses, it doesn't or matter. Or if, the, if there is a sun, you could do the sun. A sun? Okay. Yeah, don't look into the sun. There you go. It's all no. tied together. There we go. Just anything um, that has to do with eyesight. So leave that down in the comments below. That's how we'll know you watch the end of this video. Um, if you've had anything crazy happening, like you've had that scan or you've had like a retinal tear or whatever that is, let me know down in the comments below too because now I'm pretty scared. Like it's kind of freaky You're like that I, it's just terrible. <laughs> like it's really scary, but fine. I don't know. She didn't say that there's really anything that you could do. So okay. <clears throat> now I'm dying, <clears throat> man. We have terrible coughs in this house. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time yeah. and yeah, have a great night. See you later. Bye. Bye.